Hello, everybody, everybody, and welcome to the Gold Seminar on Reading People, something a lot of you have been asking us to speak a little bit more about. Yeah, we did one last year, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of the strategies and stuff like that. And, you know, people were asking about some of the little gimmicks and tricks and stuff we use to draw people out and what mm -hmm. we pay attention to to kind of refine what we talked about last time. Right. There are two things, really, that kind of get in the way of people reading people. One is you, right? We all know about this. We all probably need, need personal changes to read people better. I'm sure even we do, even though we're great at it already. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, um, <laughs> and two is really that people just don't know what to look for sometimes. I mean, people look for minutia. They want to look at eye blinks. Every subtle body should go, what does that mean? That's too much. That's and some people, way too much. Some people don't notice anything, okay? <laughs> I mean, people could be recoiling in horror, all right? People could be looking for a window to jump out of. People could be hiding under the couch. And those people just sit there, and they just keep talking along like it's completely normal. And again, we're back to being in your own head and needing to make some changes. Yeah, I think so. But so today, we're going to talk to you about exactly what to look for. And we're going to simplify it so you'll know what to look for and know how to lead them to give you what you want to look for. Yeah, we came up with some pretty cool stuff here just recently. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and it's, you know, a lot of people don't really just offer up front everything. So you've right. actually kind of got to. Pull them out a but little we'll bit to, within the show where they are. And by recently, he means Friday, we noticed what we do already. 